So I don't normally do this. This is the first time I've ever made a response video to a comment. This comment came under this video I uploaded yesterday, Just Say No, from my experience at Home Depot where I wouldn't follow their stupid rules. This comment is from Jenny Simon. Jenny reads, she writes, Well, when the second wave happens and all the kids start dying, then what? Oh, won't someone please think of the children? When your niece dies in front of your eyes, will you believe it? No, Jenny, I won't believe it because I don't believe anything the government or the media says. What I would want to know is why the child died. That's it. Wear a cheesecloth mask if you want to protest. No, Jenny, uh, don't tell me how to protest. Don't tell me what to do. That's retarded. Why would I pretend to follow their rules by going out of my way to create a cheesecloth mask so that I could wear this stupid fucking thing and only be protesting in my own mind. That's retarded. That's not how protests work. Dig an illegal well to irrigate your garden. Wait a minute. How do you know gar uh, wells are illegal in my area? And put a placard on it that says why you are protesting. Again, Jenny, that's completely retarded. Why would I put a placard? What good would that do? It's not like, uh, you know, scores or hundreds of strange, you know, public people are coming through to see my placard. What good would that do? If this virus was real... Wait, wait, wait. What? Stop. What do you mean, if it was real? Weren't you the person just two sentences ago that said, when your niece dies in front of your eyes? What do you mean, if it's real? If this virus was real, there is no recovery. Stop, stop, stop. Where are you getting your information, Jenny? I mean, what are you talking, hundreds of, th according to mainstream official narrative, hundreds of thousands of people have recovered. In fact, there was a news headline today, a 108 year old man who lived through the Spanish flu survived Corona. So where are you getting your information? I'm a medical professional and have been reading the medical studies and been on doctor live streams. Have you really? Have you really? Let's look at your channel. No recent activity. A whopping 460 subscribers. Uh, 10 months ago, you were on Zero's live stream. A year ago, you have a live stream that says, come hang out and chat if I can get this going. Uh, one year ago, you're back. Uh, one year ago, and we're back. One year ago, Jenny's live stream, four minutes. Dead crabs, sunny day on the beach. Todd's war, walk on the beach. Got your dog on the beach, dear family. One year ago, nothing. Uh, take two, ocean shores, dog sleigh. Year ago, year ago, year ago. Where are the live streams with you and these doctors? Why haven't you posted any of those videos? Why haven't you mirrored them? Why haven't you hosted them? Why haven't you uh, simulcasted them? OBS is free. You can simulcast these doctor live streams you're on. Back to your stupid comment. The child inflammatory condition is not a mystery syndrome. Really? Uh, citation needed, please? How do you know? If they test the cerebral spinal fluid of children who test negative, they will find the virus there. You know that for sure? Um, Jenny, open up a fresh tab and do a Google search for exosomes and then do a search for are exosomes found in cerebral spinal fluid? You just might be shocked. And as a side note, if you don't already know, exosomes are something that are produced by your body, it's part of your immune system, and shocker, wait for it, they're indistinguishable, I'll say that again, indistinguishable from viruses. There is a neurological presentation that is going dormant in the nervous system, just like herpes virus. Um, there's a neurological presentation that's going dormant? Um, how does it present itself if it's going dormant? Jesus Christ, what's fuck? Do you know how words work? So, yes, 
Also, a man who tested negative got viral meningitis, and they did, in fact, isolate the virus from his cerebral spinal fluid. Citation needed. And by the way, viral meningitis, that's not COVID. Jesus Christ. They need to be doing lumbar punctures, but there is a conspiracy because I have been saying this in doctor live streams and comment sections, Twitter, etc., and the narrative isn't changing. Wait, 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 wait. They need to be doing lumbar punctures, but there is a conspiracy because because you have I have been doing I because I have been saying this in doctor live streams. Wait, that's the reason there's a conspiracy? Jenny uh, Jenny, Jenny Simon, your sentences are absolutely incoherent. Children just have smaller bodies. Please, please think of the children. I am not a betting gal, but would bet we will see asymptomatic adults with this mystery syndrome soon. Hey, Jenny, if they're asymptomatic, how the fuck are you going to see these people with this mystery syndrome? How is this mystery syndrome going to present itself if people are asymptomatic? You fucking retard. Right when the kids got sick, that dog in Hong Kong who was supposedly recovered a long time ago died. And how do you know that, Jenny? Where are you getting your information? Please, citation needed. Smaller body. Oh, small body. Think of the children. Also, if the virus does in fact destroy T cells, SARS-1 did not, and people never recover from SARS-1 either. Wait a minute, they don't? They just get maimed? Then unless HIV drugs work on this, then perhaps people will start wasting away from acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Oh, so what you're saying is if you get SARS or if you get COVID, and that the HIV drugs don't work, then people are going to what? Die from HIV? Acquired immune deficiency syndrome? That's what you said right there. If the HIV drugs don't work on them, then perhaps people will start wasting away from acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Please, people, start asking these questions in comment sections and live streams. Holy shit. No, Jenny, you need to go back to grade school and learn how to formulate a sentence. And you need to... Learn how to, what the hell? Come on, you're just gonna show my comment. Basically all I said was, uh, this comment won't load, what the hell? Basically my comment was, look up Koch's postulum and see that this virus has not been proven to exist, period. Just give me the facts, not your appeal to emotion. Thanks for playing.